you may think you know about Howard Hughes. How he created movie stars. How he set world flying records. How he built fighter planes and machine guns. How he owned airlines, a major motion picture studio, and Las Vegas hotels and casinos. But he had a very private, passionate, and cleverly deceitful side, exposed only to a chosen few, the women that were seduced by Howard Hughes. Are you alone? Yes. Number one, someday you have to learn to trust somebody. And Howard would call me at midnight, and we would talk until four in the morning. Why don't you decide you need somebody to take care of you? Why don't you let me have the job? Oh, Howard, you want it? Pretty soon, he put one arm around my waist, and I said, all right, that's enough. I've had enough. Get out. He was a very elusive person. Well, Howard had quite a few beautiful, beautiful women. Howard dated the biggest stars in the world. From Lana Turner was one of the most beautiful women who ever lived, to Rita Hayworth, it was dazzling. Ava Gardner, I think the most beautiful woman I ever saw in my life. Debbie Reynolds, Elizabeth Taylor, Betty Davis, Olivia de Havilland. And it just went on and on and on. There was an aura about him. He carried himself in such a way, uh, it was just there. And I'm sure the money played some part in it. And the ambitions of the pretty young ladies who wanted to become movie stars, this was the man that could hand it to them. When Howard Hughes saw me, he liked very young little girls then. People are still hungry about Howard Hughes. He was adventuresome. He was a visionary. I think he was the greatest man of the 20th century.